Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Intrica 2018 in Peru. We will continue this tutorial where we start from the previous tutorial. To continue, go and open the file 00 underscore 001 underscore DIOB where you save it. Go to the quick access toolbar and click save as. You should bring the save drawing as dialog box. Rename this drawing to 00 underscore underscore 00 to DIAB and click the save button. Now go, go to the layer panel and click the layer properties. This will bring the layer properties manager. You can use the layer to control your drawing. In fact, no object can exist in AutoCAD without being in the layer. Because of that reason, when you start a new drawing, AutoCAD gives you a new drawing, a new layer automatically new layer one. Now, if you expand this dialog box a little bit, you see another columns. This layer divided into this dialog box divided into several areas. You have the state areas and have the properties layer areas. The state area, the on and the off stage. This is the on and off state column. This is the freeze and thaw state column. This is a lock and unlock state column. All these three columns are represent the state of the layer. The other columns are represent the properties of the layer. For example, the color. These represent the color of the layer, the line type, line with transparency, and so on. This is the plot style colon. This is the plot colon. Plot freeze to new plot colon and description. You see, you can also add a description for your layer. Now, click the new button. When you do, also got good a layer name layer one. If I click the same button again also can create another layer name layer 2 and so on but if you have so many if you have a big, very busy drawing you have more than 100 layer it's very difficult for you to understand what layer 1 represents what layer 2 represents so to avoid that confusion also that give you an option to rename the layer so now let's rename this layer to wall or 2D walls. This way, we can place all our walls into this layer. Then, right click and rename this layer to 2D windows. Click out. Click the new layer button again to create another layer. Now, since the layer is already highlighted, all I need to do just type the name of the layer. I'm going to rename this to 2D to the doors. Click the new layer button again. This one I'm going to call it 10. I'm going to stop here for the moment and change the properties of this layer. I'm going to add more layer as we proceed through the tutorial. Now for the 2D window, click the color swatches and change its color to blue, click OK. Now any objects you draw on this layer will have a blue color. Change the line width, leave the line type to continuous and the line width to, to 0.35 mm. Go to the door layer and click the color swatches, change the color. To the index color number three which is green then the line width to 0.35 millimeter to the same player change the color to red and click ok change all the colors all the other properties as they are for the wall layer leave the color to white the line type to continuous and change the line width to a thicker line for example 0. 
seven millimeter and click copy. Let's click one more layer, the center line. Let's just say cent and click the colors. Let's change each color to magenta. Click OK and click change the line type. The line type that we want to use for this cent color is not on this dialog box. It's not in the select line type dialog box. So we need to load it. What you got to do is to reduce the, the drawing size. Now I'll click load. Again, don't load any line type that you don't use because line type can increase the size of them. You can only load the line type that you know you are going to use. Now scroll down and look for the line, center line, and click OK. Now the line, the center line is is being loaded to the select line that to the select line type dialog box. Now see. Select the center line type and click OK to load it into the drawing. Now the center line is loaded. Because the raw layer was current when I moved to the center line, the center line inherits the properties of the raw layer. So I need also to change the line width. The line width, I'm going to give it a line width of 0.25 millimeter and click OK. Now, Click the close button to place the layer properties manager and return to the drawing. So in this tutorial, you will learn the basic step how to put layer in AutoCAD. In the next tutorial, we will proceed start to draw line and other entity in AutoCAD. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any comment or you have any question about this tutorial, or you want a specific tutorial for yourself, please leave a comment below. If you want to follow along through this tutorial, please subscribe for more tutorial. Thanks very much. I see you on the next class.